Hi girls, how are you all? Okay, today we are thinking about our future. By studying well, we have to get a job. And after getting a job, what all things we have to do? We have to buy a land, isn't it? So we have to check how much the land will cost. See, this land is available in Madakanji. 10 cent of land cost 40 lakhs. And after buying the land, we have to make a house. See, I am showing here a beautiful house. For making it, we need 25 lakhs. If you plan to buy a flat instead of buying land and house, you can buy flat. And see, this flat, it is a ready to live flat. It costs 53 lakhs. Of course, after making a house, we need to buy a car. Isn't it? So, uh, we can buy a Maruti Swift. Okay, it's a common car. It's not so costly. Okay. And this Maruti Swift costs 7,50,000. Did you see all the differences? All are in lakhs. But we didn't learn how to read and write lakhs. So, can we learn how to deal with this lakhs? already learned about five digit numbers okay 10,000 is the smallest five digit number one with the four zeros and with this 10,000 we are adding one more 10,000 okay we can count in 10,000s so 10,000 when we add one more 10,000 it will become 20,000 and again 30,000 40,000 50,000 60,000 70,000, 80,000, 90,000. We got 90,000. Along with this 90,000, when we add, it will become a number 1 with 5 zeros. Okay. So, how can we read this number? For reading this number, we need the places. So, we will write the places on the top. Okay. We know the places 1s, 10s, 100s. And that belongs to which period? Yes, it is the ones period. Then the next two places, thousands and ten thousands together, it is thousands period. Which is the next place? That is the lakhs place. And lakhs and ten lakhs, but both together forms lakhs period. Okay. To write a number in its standard form, we have to insert comma and comma is helpful for reading the numbers also. So how to insert comma? For inserting comma, we have to start from the units place. So we will start from the units place. After the ones period, we put a comma. After three numbers, first three numbers, we are putting a comma. Then after the thousands period also, we will put a comma. The after two numbers, thousands and ten thousands, we will put a comma. Then after that it is lakhs. Okay. So in this number there are two commas. We read the number. One is under lakhs. So one lakh. This number is one lakh. In a lakh there are five zeros. To read another number. I wrote a number here. Seven lakh sixty thousand four hundred. Seven lakh. 60,400. You can see uh, with the places. 7 is in the lakhs place. 60 is in the thousands period. We know uh, in each period we have to read the numbers together. Okay, 60,400. So, what is the place value of each number? So, you can see 7. Place value of 7, that sh 7 shows us in this number there are 7 lakhs. And that 6 in the 10,000 space shows that there are 6 10,000s. Okay, and 4 in the 100 space shows that there are 4 hundreds. So this number is formed by 7 lakhs, 6 10,000s and 4 hundreds. 
So the actual form or the expanded form we can write like this. 7 lakhs plus 60,000. 6, 10,000 means it is 60,000 plus 400. Zeros as there is no value, no need of writing. Okay. Now, let me give another number. 5 lakh 1070. Okay, as we are writing along the places, it's very easy to read. The expanded form is 5 lakh plus 1000 plus 70. Hope you all understood how to read and write the numbers up to lakhs. Thank you, dears. Bye.